Hi everyone, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. I've been here at the zombie spawner getting XP, and so far I've enchanted three picks. Um, I enchanted them all at level 25, and I've got efficiency 3, unbreaking 3, efficiency 3, and a silk touch, which I'm super excited about. I then realised I should have two layers of bookshelves, and that will let me enchant over level 30 and now I have 50 XP so let's see what we get on the last iron pickaxe let me just scroll through these until I find one that's high enough I think 42 is what we're going to go for. Let's see what we get. <laughs> that is really good. I'm breaking 3, efficiency 4, fortune 3. What a great pick. I have an idea for a build today, which is why I needed uh, some really good pickaxes. And while getting all of those levels, we got a full chest of rotten flesh. And we're not going to lie, I've been eating a lot of this as well. I see him up there, but is he going to drop and, and creeper explode me? No, he missed me. I want to get out with my, my pickaxes. I've been feeling quite guilty about where we left our sheep and cows and pigs. It's a bit cramped in here. They're jumping around, they just need more space. So that's my project for today. They're still gonna live underground, which is why I needed the pickaxes. But I want them to have some space to roam around. So um, I'm gonna get digging. I'll catch you in a bit. I haven't even finished digging out the first section and my silk pickaxe is finished. I'm so sad. <laughs> but I'll put it away because I don't really want to break it. This is roughly the size I want each sheep pen to be. Can you tell what it is yet? We have our little Minecraft sheep. Yay! Okay, let me get some sheep moved into this pen. And we have our first sheep in their pen. And this one seems particularly excited about it. And the pig came to join them too. And we have the second one done. And that's the third one complete.
So here's what we have so far. We have our four sheep pen, our gray, black, white, and light gray. And our sheep and our cows and our pigs all mixed together because I can't get them to stay behind their fences. Every time I open a gate, two or three of them escape. <laughs> um, and I've got a temporary little farm down here because um, I don't have all the resources yet to make the three other levels that we need. I'm also not sure what to do with these sides. Either decorate them or replace them maybe with some more wheat farms. I'll have a think. This is the last of our wheat, so we definitely need to set up some farms. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get all the wool I need. Um, so I have some pistons and some redstone. So let me see what I can figure out. So here's my first working prototype. I actually use sticky pistons instead. Um, under here is some water. So I've got my sticky piston facing down, uh, my redstone, and then a lever. And when I turn that off, the block retracts and my water moves. And then off again. So if I plant a seed and and let's pretend that's grown <laughs> and then switch it off and then back on. Oh, no seed. Hmm. Let's extend this and see if that's the same for all of them. Okay, so now we've got four. Oh no! Oh, it went everywhere. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Well, we know it works. We found another zombie spawner right under where we're digging out the sheep pen. I haven't looked in the chest yet. Let's see what we've got. <gasps> A music disc. Ooh, it's cat. I've installed our piston water gates and I've let uh, the wheat grow so let's see if these work. Oh 
Oh no. <laughs> Eventually I'll have the uh, the redstone hook up to something over here. Uh, it's pretty effective but then I still have to run around and collect everything and it doesn't make it to these these ones. It's okay for a first pass but maybe I'll move these around and see if I can get them to channel all the uh, seeds and wheat to this corner. diamonds and enchanted everything and this is what we got protection 4 and respiration 3 protection 4 efficiency 2 protection 4 and protection 3 quick progress update we dug out the corners as you saw earlier and added wheat farms and we've got all of our sheep organized and I tried to add a new staircase up to the surface but I think this is a bit a bit big and there's one on the next floor down that I think looks a bit better we've then got our more pink and red color sheep and this I think is the better staircase having it tucked in the corner and this one goes down the next level. Oops. Where we've got our little green and blue sheep. Uh, but I haven't continued this down yet. And then finally we have our more orange and brown and green sheep. So I think I will add in the staircase in each corner. So that's my plan to do next. One other issue we have with this big staircase pillar is where the staircase comes out. It's really quite close to the pumpkin base, but it has these two blocks that I really don't want to remove. And I can't get done with those in place. So hopefully moving it into the corner will move it into a perfect position for getting from the pumpkin to the sheep. Enderman keeps stealing my sand. And they've let all the sheep out. So we've 
we've finished adding our staircases in every corner and in each layer we have one of these built up entrances um, in opposite corners and then one that's the same level as the rest of the floor. And then at the bottom they just go to these fences so you can't go down anymore. Maybe I'll add a balcony um, at this level which opens up onto the same floor. And then the same again on the next floor. I managed to get the bottom three floors in, in line with each other, but not with the original floor. So all of my staircases are in odd positions on this floor. So I need to take out all of this and rebuild one block over. Let's take a look at where this opens up to the surface now. So I've just got a ladder and my trap door again and it's just hidden behind this pumpkin and right in front of the entrance to the pumpkin base. So I'm pretty happy with where that's um, moved to. So I will get adjusting the top floor and I'll be right back. So we've finished shifting everything over one block and now the staircases look um, the same as every other level. And I decided to add a gravel footpath to each staircase on this level and just have little tiny wheat fields either side. But I haven't added this to every other floor yet. But I think that's all we have time for this episode. Um, but in the future I want to change out the floor and the ceilings and these walls for something more interesting. Maybe add in some balconies. But next episode I want to go to the nether and get some more of these achievements. Thanks everyone for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye!